Welcome back to the Let's Play Finding Emo. We're in a big, stressful level all of a sudden with a lot of rings to go through. On we'll the last, I guess the second last level, but we have a lot of a lot of rings to go through. A lot of rings to miss. Oh, huh, huh. Yeah, it's gotta be hard going through the middle part there. But that's okay. So that means we have multiple tries. So it's a good thing I got rid of my krill earlier that were preventing me from dying. Death abuse is exactly what we need right now. Oh man! It feels like it's like current pushing off to the right or something, right? It just says it's turning. Yeah, it's because it's turning, I get put, pushed off to one side. Really good then that I got rid of those krill. This is going to take a few tries. Ah! That's a really small loop you're trying to get through. Threading the needle. Alright. We have as many tries as we want, really. Because the only way for us to get through that part without uh, getting hit now is to actually get that one last ring. It, it always throws me off to the right really hard. At the very end there. To that fan, and then just pull hard left. Ah! I managed to overshoot on the left that time. Man. It's tricky. Alright. Perfect. Now, huh, we're not really out of the woods. You only have less than half of the actual stuff we need. That's just the rings. Still enemies to kill, still rocks to get. Although we made pretty good progress in killing enemies, it looks like. Yeah, only three of those left. Oh, this is interesting. Or do we actually need to jump over the thing out of the water? That's awesome. Ah. So you can slide on the thing, but that's kind of irritating. You can just slide on it when you're out of the water. Just a few laps, or that's one thing that's almost done. Just try to slide, slide onto the wall, on the top of the wall, which I find oddly entertaining. Oh no! I do like that they finally made jumping out of the water an actual mechanic, though. Oh, that, that is a little weird, though. If you go in the air and then turn around, you actually turn around as if you're in the water. It's the one thing that breaks the illusion of actually being in the air whenever you're above the surface of the water. Oh well. Take everything super slowly. Can't let ourselves miss anything. I'm really questioning whether I w want to have Krill here at all. So that could lead to a situation like what made us restart the level last time. So I'm considering getting rid of them. Anything down at the bottom? No. Okay. I'm not sure how much long, how many more episodes it's going to take to finish this game, because there's only one level after this one, I think. One or two. And if it's two, then it's a really... Well, the last one's a super short one. I don't know if the last level has any, uh... Bonus stuff or not. If it has any gold stars to pick up. And if it doesn't, it's because it's a super short one. But we'll have to see. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to fight the current going here. So this is just where it spits us out if we mess up the loop. Which means, yay, another loop to explore. Really strong currents. It's going to be so many rings at once, which I guess is kind of a good thing in one way. This means that there aren't really as many... Oh, man. Really? 
It's kind of mean at the end they were throwing you at the spike wall. But same, so it kind of means that the number of rings you need to get isn't as bad because they throw, throw a lot of rings at us at a time. It also means more rings to miss at once. We need to get all of those rings that are packed together. Star? Yes. That's one thing done. So nothing- No! No! Nemo, no! Um... I'll have to be back in a bit. Alright, here we are again. So, we know which ring we don't want to go in then. Rather, we know where we don't want to go. Which path we don't want to go all the way through. Aha! That can throw me into spike wall this time. This level is such a massive time investment. It's weird, some levels are so easy going and laid back, and really easy to get 100% on without having to worry at all. And some are like this one. So let's not even go down that next one just yet. I imagine there are rings and whatnot up here. I'd be super surprised if there weren't any. And almost in a way you just made. Okay, I didn't actually miss anything. Well, um, that was some time I didn't need to spend. But I didn't want to risk not actually having all this stuff anyways. I don't want to risk missing stuff permanently and going through the entirety of the rest of the level, then having to get all the loops again. But I just didn't expect this to be a transition from one area to another. I just see a dead end. I, oh, it's a dead end. No, it's a point of no return. The email's just gonna inexplicably swim past. For some reason, sometimes you can actually tell when you can go past the wing, and sometimes you can't. like phasing through the solid gate. It kind of looks like it is. Solid objects passing through solid objects. No, actually there's a hole in, in between the spikes for that. Okay, that's cool. Nice little detail. Okay, you gave me a lot of krill afterwards. Why not before? What? Why aren't you going past that one, Nemo? They go down now? No. What are you doing? Like this it took us back. That's where it took us. Is there another way to go? I see that part up on the top right, but that's not oh, another way you can go. This part's weird. I'm looking at where the bomb on top of each part leads. I don't see other place I can go. Ah! part will actually be pretty like up krill. I don't really know what the idea is behind krill protecting you in any way, but I guess it works well enough. Okay. So I chose poorly. When I didn't even know there was a choice. It's disconcerting. So it implies that I could actually unknowingly choose between multiple paths. And in doing so, miss a path that actually had a star or a rock or something that I needed to complete the level 100%. Okay, so that was that corner that I saw. Huh. Alright, well, there's that. Although at least they didn't stick anything 
important in that little branch that I actually went on to the first time. Oh, I heard... I'm hearing a rock. It's going lots of places. Um, I don't know if I want to go down any of these places. Okay. So we have... Are these all going to be... Yes, okay, so these are the pedestals. The rocks are here. So I'm not going to be able to fight this current, am I? Nope, okay. So if we go up here, that's how we get out. That's not what we want to do, though. What I want to do is go down here. So we can hear that one of these rocks was being circulated throughout. So now I just see the green one. I don't know where the green one is. Uh, ah! Oh, I can hear it. Okay, so the green one's also circulating throughout, apparently. Oh, that last one's gonna be a nuisance. Okay. So what I can do is I can go from one to the other. So I can push myself in the first one. Stop. Push myself in the second one. Stop. Push myself in the third. Stop. Okay. I really get that right on center, but whatever. So I was hearing Oz around here. Might have fallen in one of these. I was hearing it earlier. I wish I pick up that blue rock again, fix that, but whatever. I'm really uncomfortable with going to those grates now because now every time I see one I suspect Nemo's gonna just swim right past it. And prevent me from big progress. Okay. So I, I thought I heard something, but apparently this thing is here. Okay. So I have to go around again, and, and then we can actually get this thing. And I think I'll will remain. Yeah, all that will be left will be oh, the rings, which is still a daunting task in its own right. That's the thing about the rings. It's I, with these other things, you get them done at some point in the level, and then hey, you're good. Rings though, those go throughout the entirety of the rest of the level. You never know when you're done with those. Well, once you're done with the level, basically, in most cases at least. Looks like the right way to go. Yeah, okay, we don't want to go out there. Okay. How many of those wings do we have now? There are four left. Probably in this one segment here. Hopefully, at least. So I don't want to have missed any. So, let's be very cautious. So I, I couldn't see past that um, great. I was thinking that better not have been the end of the level right there. I better not have missed four of those. I know I didn't. Okay. Welcome to Sydney. At least. Outside the drainage pipe. Nope. Okay. Not a lot left to do then. I think this one as well might be the one that I always thought was hard. The one that I really re distinctly remember, but don't actually... I know, there's no way I unlocked that particular bonus level. There's no way I unlocked the bonus level for the, the treatment plant. Also, huh. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, that's weird. How many? Ten. Okay, cool. It's also a really big ball. Oh my god. Why would you do that? 
I mean, I get the idea, but... Oh, uh, no! No! Game! Why? Oh, it's horrible. Right, go up, ball. I need the ball to go up. Sometimes it goes up a little bit, but then... It doesn't get high enough for me to bounce it higher. No, the current pushes it down further. Oh, that is the worst. Oh, yeah, gravity does too. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do here, though. I don't know how to get it higher. I really don't. It's gonna be. It's gonna come out here. It's still gonna be up there, against the ground. How do I do that? So I would think that that might help, but no, it doesn't because it's still the current is pushing it against the ground. Ah. Oh my God. I really don't know how to do this. I don't mean to, like, be qu quitting immediately or anything, but I really don't know. I, I don't have the control that I need. It's like I need to get height somehow up here. I'm in this portion of it. But it, it won't go up in the air. I think the idea behind the ball being bigger is that I can actually do that. Almost impossible, especially on the left-hand side, where where the water is actually pushing it downwards. Because there's actually a downwards current here. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh God. Now I have to get it out of here. Oh, uh, it bounced off the side. Ah, and I have to fight the current myself, too. This is horrible. You definitely want to get the higher part before the lower part. It's ridiculous. All these aren't currents, thankfully. Alright. There's four more. If I thought only I could get ten rings, that would be such a nuisance. So, uh, I won't say anything until... No. No. I won't say anything until we do the last bonus level. But, it's really weird that I just don't... The, there's a bonus level that I vividly remember being very difficult that apparently isn't in the game. Unless it's the bonus level for the final level. Which is very possible, because I probably got the unlocked bonus level for that one. Okay, what's going on here? I can't let this fall down here, though. Feels like I might need to make it go up in the center there. Yeah, because otherwise there's a cart pushing it out of either pipe. I just like stop for my. I need the ball to rest somewhere for a moment. Just need to get an idea of what's around here. Okay, so that's really straightforward. Very strong current. So hopefully, I'll just go through that ring if I do that. Yes. I just need to get up here one more time, and we'll be good. I 
We're good. Awesome. Blue with the star too, mate. So that'll be that for this episode of Let's Play Finding Nemo. Shoo. But if nothing else, we've at least assured that we'll be able to get all of the stars in the game. We know we're going to be able to harvest it in the game now because there's no doubt we can get, all get the stars in the final level. And the only obstacle in the final level will be completing its bonus level. Especially if it's the bonus level that I vividly remember but haven't been able to find anywhere. But I was so sure that that bonus level I was thinking of was actually a bonus level for one of the tank levels. One of the tanks in the dentist fish tank. Also, it was really cool from what you can see the exterior of those pipes for a moment in the concept art. Oh, you can see the outside area too. Nice. With more detail. Parts that you don't get to see when you're actually playing too. That's awesome. I always love when you see things like that. Things that would all be called out and whatnot if... Well, yeah. Basically, you won't be able to see them at all. And even if you'd be able to get, move the camera around to see them, they'd probably be called out. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time, next episode. Let's play Finding Nemo. Where we finish off the game. It should most definitely be the last episode unless the... Yeah, it should be the last episode pretty much no matter what. So I see you then, guys. Shoot, we're about done. I don't know what I'm going to do after this, actually. I'll, I'll have to think about things. But it's cool to think about things sometimes. I mean, I strike getting the opportunity to finally play something different. It's, it's one longer than I thought it would. But that's not a bad thing, I guess. Bye, guys.